Hey all, it's Miran with the Human Values Collective. It's a little too windy to bike, so let's clean together. But before we get started, this week's values are peace and non-attachment. The thought for this week is let go and let live. Though the state of my desk is not normally something I would share, it was the first thing that came to mind with these values of peace and non-attachment. These past few weeks and the last couple of days especially have been very intense with me submitting my master's thesis that I haven't been doing the best uh, with having a clutter-free working space or taking care of myself and my inner peace. In moments of stress and time pressure, I have a tendency to hyperfixate, and with that, I also notice a very strong resistance towards letting go of things as minor as small inconveniences to small mistakes in speaking or remembering tasks to the point where they build up and turn into roadblocks. And as these roadblocks pile up, I often don't know where to begin letting go to the point where everything begins to feel overwhelming. It is this tendency that has led to one of my favorite lecturers very kindly but sternly calling me in by saying, you are way too attached to your work. The memory of this call-in brings a smile as I let go in a very literal sense today, practicing to let go and to let live. As I clear away piles of books, random pens and tools, even four empty cups that used to have coffee, I also let go of any judgment in letting clutter happen or any shame that's built up in not being as present as I'd like to be for the people and things in my life that deserve to take up space and time. In letting go, even just for the night, I accept that these experiences are incredibly human and that to let go is to let live and to create room for the things that matter. What do you do to let go and let live? What is something that deserves to take up your space and time? How is your inner space when you let go of something that no longer serves you? Feel free to leave a comment in response. And thank you for sharing this moment of peace and non-attachment with me, and also with cleaning. Much love and light.